Instagram.com. Well, welcome to a Board's Vitals question answered, sponsored by MedCram.com. The question is, what is the last ossification center to fuse in the elbow? Answer choices are capitellum, lateral epicondyle, medial epicondyle, trochlea, or E, olecranon. Now, a lot of you may have put down choice B, but actually it's a different answer, and I'll explain that. Now, a number of you are probably familiar with the mnemonic cry toe, and that is the order here, C-R-I-T-O-E. And what these are are ossification centers in the elbow. And this order of crito is the order that these ossification centers actually form. In fact, the ages at which they form are thus. 1, 5, 7, 10, 10, and 11 years of age. So I'd like to draw your attention to this picture over here on the right, which is actually the right elbow, for instance. So we're looking at the right elbow end on, therefore this side is lateral, this side is medial. This is the radius, and this is the ulnar. Obviously this is the humerus. Okay, so what this means is that these ossification centers are actually forming. But notice that the question is not asking the order in which they form, but the order in which they fuse. And this will be very important. The capitellum is the first one to form, and that is at age one. So where is the capitellum? It is actually in this area right here, and you'll see an island forming just off the coast of the humerus. It'll eventually fuse, but it forms before it fuses. So that is C. The next one that forms after C is going to be the radial head, which is at age 5. That one is going to form in this area here. Again, it's going to be floating out in the middle of nowhere on the x-ray, but it's actually going to fuse later. Now, the next two ossification centers are extremely important, the internal and the trochlear. And the reason why is because of this order. Notice that the next one that forms is the internal, which we will see out here. And it is free-floating. Again, because it is free-floating, it can be evulsed. The key is, is that it hasn't fused as yet. It's the last one to fuse. After it is formed, there's another one that forms called the trochlea. That's in this area. And it, again, starts off as an island, but then it eventually shows up. Now, this is the key point here. If you see a trochlear island, or you see an ossification center here, which is in the T area. Because of the fact that the T is showing up, there has to absolutely be an internal one. If you do not see the I ossification center, in other words, if you do not see the medial epicondyle ossification center, it has been evulsed and it's gone. It forms before the trochlear but it fuses at the end, and therefore it is at risk for being evulsed. So if you see a T, there must have been an I before it. And if you do not see an I, then it must have been evulsed, and you need to look for that fusion that has been evulsed, okay? So I before T. The next one is O, which is in this area. We're looking through the humerus that's at the back. It's the next one to form. And then finally at the very end is the external lateral epicondyle, which again forms as a island and then fuses E. It's only at that time, because at the very end, you have the fusion of the eye. And now you don't have to worry about being fused. Okay, so let's go back to our question. What is the last ossification center to fuse in the elbow? Is actually C the medial epicondyle. And it is because it's the last one to fuse that you've got to look for it to make sure it's still there because it could be evulsed. And if you see the T without seeing the I, then you have to be worried about an evulsion. So the moral of this story is you've got to read very carefully what the question is and not assume what the question is asking. Sometimes when you study very hard and you have all of these mnemonics down, you know and can almost anticipate what they're gonna ask. 
Don't read into the question. Read the question and make sure you're answering the right question. And thanks for joining us. 